Today I'm going to show you how to change the gearbox on a sashi machine. This is a, a Jedi or Ice Tro, but the same applies to most of the models. The only tools you require are a Phillips head screwdriver, some lubricant, cable tie, and side cutters. Firstly, remove the lid. Now remove the back cover. And there's your gearbox. Now remove the back cover. Once you've got all the screws undone, just secure it out of the, somewhere out of the way. Now locate the wire coming out of the gearbox and cut very carefully any cable ties securing it without cutting the actual wires and in this case and just unplug the plug. Now you might need to just close the tensioner and carefully remove that spring. Now you can remove the gearbox sliding it all the way out. Now by pushing the shaft at the front of the machine, you can now pull the whole lot out. And this one is a, a relatively new one. It's covered in lubricant to help keep it from corroding. And there is a collar that goes between the, the shaft and the gearbox. Uh, we want to inspect this clip here that it's not rusted or corroded and it's actually still there. And we will put lubricant onto the two components. We recommend using Inox because it's a premium food grade machinery grease. All you need to do is put a light coating along the shaft and just smear that on to just to give a protective barrier. Um, and definitely around the E-clip on both sides here just to lubricate the surfaces in case any slush or juice comes down, it also helps keep this lubricated. Now on the gearbox, this is a new gearbox, uh, but if you're, uh, if necessary you need to check that this surface here is all clean and the surface here is also clean where it pivots, where the gearbox pivots in there, because we're going to put lubricant between the two. Now I just put a coating of lubricant around here on this surface and on this surface here. Okay, just smear the grease and I always put a bit of grease on here. Okay, then insert the, the greased greasy shaft into the gearbox and slide it into the machine, just lining up straight, making sure that you push your micro switch out of the way as you line it up through so you don't damage the micro switch. Okay, now Neatly lay the cable onto the loom, onto the piping in such a way that you can plug it into the loom, making sure that the clip locks in properly, then get a cable tie and locate it where it was probably from the factory and it's best if it had two then I suggest you put two on, especially when you are near the fan. You don't want um, things hitting the fan, like the trays. And, um, and then cut off the tail. Now replace the spring by pushing it up and then clipping on. You will need to turn it down a little bit so that it clears the, the housing. You can also check your switch is working properly because you can hear it click. If it's not clicking then there's a problem and it, it won't operate the valves. Then just put the back cover on making sure that you don't catch this that you've actually and the default setting is about two and a half, and pop your two screws back in. Just don't over tighten them, just firm. And now just return the back cover and do the screws up in the same places that you took them from originally. 